Welcome back. I'm here at the Heineken Bar with Billy Ray Cyrus. Thanks for coming to see us. Thank you for being here. Now, you have your new album, The Snake Doctor Circus, is out on Friday. This is a, a, a concept album you've been working on for sort of two years now. Exactly. We were doing the math. Uh, my buddy Don Von Tres, uh, Vietnam veteran that wrote Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah. Uh, he, and I, uh, he and I made music. And he's here tonight. Together. Yeah, he's here so tonight. So thrilled uh, to meet him. Yeah. We started working on this album. We were doing the math, and it's actually three years ago we started the album down in Muscle Shoals. And um, I don't know if you know, uh, you might not recognize, this is the actual jacket I wore in the video in 1992 of Achy Breaky Heart. Shut the fuck up. Don and I are kind of going full circle together, and uh, yeah, it's, like, it's a little, uh, it's a little yeah, it's got a little 92 on it. Uh, <laughs> they called it Colombian Red Bud back then. I, it's probably, good. but uh, Don and I, <laughs> Don and I started the album, and uh, it just felt like going full circle. And this is our first live performance uh, of the music from the Snake Doctor Your Circus. First and... live performance from the album is right here. So Yeah. Now, explain to me this, Billy Ray. What exactly is a snake doctor circus? Well, the circus is my life. Um, right. But the snake doctor itself is, you can see, it's, it's somewhat of a dragonfly. And in, in southern lore, this bug would fly over uh, a wounded snake, and it would flap its wings and help heal the snake and, and bring it back together. And as you know, there's a lot of division in our country and a lot of division in our world. And what Don and I had hoped through this music was to be like the snake doctor and bring some type of healing through the music and bring people together and... and <laughs> so that's kind of what the snake doctor represents. That's that amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Now, you'd already finished the album when you recorded Old Town Road yeah. with Lil Nas X, yeah. which has been the number one song for seven weeks. Yeah. Right? Like, talk me through it. Talk me through it. How does it come about? How do you get involved in that record? Uh, exactly. It was on uh, March the 15th, and again, I'd been working on this album, Don and I, again, we'd cut the tracks in shows, and I'd do a lot of singing vocals and stuff at my studio here in L.A., and been working on it for a really solid uh, two years. And we had decided the release would be the 24th, May the 24th, and I was going about preparation of a tour and getting ready with this album. But on March the 15th, I heard this song by Lil Nas X, and it was called Old Town Road, and his uh, record company and management had asked if I would be interested in joining him on the song. Yeah. And I said, well, what would I do? Because it's already perfect. Like, I, I loved the song from the second I heard it. I just loved it. And I thought, man, this guy is so cool. And the song is so cool. And what would I do? And you know, one thing led to another. And I read about his story. And I felt a little bit of injustice was done to him. He had not been treated right. And I believe in the law of what is right. And I looked at it. I said, well, if he thinks I can help him in any way, I'm in his corner. And so... <laughs> It's so lovely that you looked at it that way. And I think if people saw this, as a thank you, Lil Nas X uh, did something I didn't even know that was possible. He postmated you a Maserati. <laughs> Walk me through the logistics. How do you postmate somebody a car? I've been trying to master getting a sandwich. Yeah. So just you know, ha having this car, but uh, you know, it's one of those things and a little Nas, I was working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's just <laughs> a crazy moment in time where art imitating life, imitating art, and <laughs> the insanity of the fact that Lil Nas wants to do this thing where he's going to bring you over a Maserati. And I'm like, oh, gosh, he wants you to act like... And I'm going, well, that's right off the bat. I'm not an actor. I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm going, just tell him to come on, and I'll just follow whatever he does. I'll follow his lead. And he knocked on the door and he's got the car. And next thing I know, the story was out that he had bought me this car. I'll be honest with you, I was just acting. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know. I, I've always found that the harder 
I, I try to act the worst I get. Right. Like, I'm just not an actor. So I just thought, I'm going to keep it real and pretend Nas is giving me this car. And then uh, after yesterday, I kind of feel like, I feel like me and you should maybe do a little carpool karaoke. Oh, whatever you want. Now when we come back, Billy Ray Cyrus is gonna perform a song from his brilliant new album. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back everybody.